Jeff and Jeremy. Good morning and uh, welcome into uh, Monday. Lots of stuff going on today. Um, Boy, after last week, we had so many things. You know, the Vinyl 4 upfront bracket has to be submitted by midnight tonight, before midnight, really. Tonight? Oh, God, it is tonight. Yeah. And so, if if you haven't done that yet, you you better do it now. We've been, you know, telling you for the last two weeks to just fill one out so you're in. Because just for, you know, signing up, you have a chance to win a VIP table for four, VIP parking, the whole VIP thing at Ringo Starr and his All-Star Friends or whatever it's called. That's coming to Vina Robles. And then the upfront bracket winner, if you get it right and you get the most points, you're going to win tickets to nine other shows besides that. Now, when you have VIP access to. This happened last year on the album version of the Vinyl Four. People filled out the bracket and they wiped their hands of it and washed their hands clean. And, and they didn't stick around for the voting. And they didn't cast a vote, which you are ridiculously stupid. Like, think if, if you, you could buy a lotto ticket and then you had some way to influence the numbers that yes, came up. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I mean, and exactly. You, and you didn't take advantage of that. Exactly. That's crazy. Like, you could theoretically, you know, say, hey, here are the bands that I voted for. Go to this website, cast votes for these bands and these matchups so I could go see 10 shows at the Vina Robles Amphitheater. Get on your social media. Say all your friends, hey friends, could you help me out? Take three minutes to vote for these bands in these matchups at And you can share a link. KZOZ.com. You go to KZOZ.com and you're logged into your Facebook account. You hit share on Facebook, boom, bam, and then you tag all your friends in it and yeah. I mean Maybe you sweeten the pot and you say, Hey, you have a friend that you know is a Peter Frampton uh, fan and you're like, Oh well, no, nobody I know really wants to go to the concert but you know bill the frampton fan might so you reach out to bill bill go vote for these bands because if i win the package i will take you to peter frampton right that's bribery that's what american politics is based on (laughs) okay so take advantage of that get after use the system like a politician would now every hour i think we should do some sort of update this morning on the close matchups we've done that in the past just to give people an idea today is the final day um We'll give you an update on which matchups you really need to watch, which ones are very tight. Um, I'm sure that uh, the Deadheads and the Boston fans are still, yeah, still neck and neck. Tooth and nail. They, they, that would be the worst fight in the world to watch. <laughs> it'd be all drugged out and, and, a, and just lazy. this little slap yeah, fight like, like, where they're like paddling their hands. Like a rich girl a, fight? Yeah. Like they're okay. doing a, a dog paddle in a pool and they're like a five-year-old. So um, No, Boston's better. No, Grateful Dead's better. This is happening at KZOZ.com. It's brought to you by Vino Robles and Niederlander Concerts. Ten concerts, ten shows. All you have to do is make sure that bracket is in today. It takes seconds to go to. Go to KZOZ.com, click on the Vinyl 4, fill out your name, your phone number, your email address, uh, hit submit, and you're in. And And then all you have to do is fill out each region. Take it a next step further than that. Print it out. Look at your picks. And... Somehow tell your friends on social media to vote for them so you can go see 10 concerts at the Vina Robles Amphitheater. I'm going to focus on two solo artists for the first matchup. And these are going to be the two difference makers. I believe when it comes down to it and the winning bracket is submitted, somebody is going to have been on like these two, these two matchups, I believe wholeheartedly. You have to get both of them right in order to win the grand prize. Okay. Therefore, I'm not going to tell you or allude to who has the lead in them. I'm just going to tell you. How many votes separate? How many votes separate? Out of the, what what region is this in? I'm sorry. i got to go back and check here. Look at the top of the screen. Out of the amphitheater region. Ozzy Osbourne and Eric Clapton. 12 votes yeah. separate. Those two. Now remember, voting to get your upfront bracket in ends at midnight tonight. That could change over the next couple hours, several hours. Who knows? That's why we're not telling you who has the lead. Well, let's talk. Let's break this down a little bit. I got to think Clapton ends up winning this. I think he's the stronger one. That's why you voted for him. Yes. No, you're right. I did. I voted for Eric Clapton. 
Um, but who has a more rabid fan base? And I use that pun intentionally. Who has the more rabid fan, fan base in that one? The Hall same. of Famer, by the way. Ozzy is too. Cream. Yardbirds. Don't try to influence the vote. No, no, no. I'm just I'm giving you one side of it, and then we'll talk about Ozzy. Just let's break this down like we're looking at a Monday night football matchup. I'm obviously taking Eric Clapton. You can talk about Ozzy. Well, Ozzy, you've part of Black Sabbath. And what's interesting is if Ozzy were to emerge out of the next matchup and Black Sabbath is able to take down either Kiss or Leonard Skinner, that's a close matchup as well. I can tell you, um, let's see how many how many separate Kiss and Leonard Skinner. <laughs> Boy, that's a tight guy. That's a tight one that we've been, been kind of ignoring. Only 22 votes separates Kiss and Leonard Skinner right now. But either Kiss or Leonard Skinner, whichever way that one goes. You think it's because Leonard Skinner is coming to the fair? People are fired up and they're voting for Skinner? I don't know. Um, I Tuesday night, I, July 23rd. I can't, I can't say either way. But Kiss Army, where's the Kiss Army? If Ozzy Osbourne can get out and Black Sabbath can take care of the Scorpions and either Kiss or Skinner, we would have a matchup of Ozzy Osbourne versus Black Sabbath. I think a lot of people might want to see that. So therefore, because that could happen, it's a could happen that people try to create their own story through voting in the vinyl form. Does Sharon Osbourne help or hurt Ozzy in this matchup? I think, people consider, you know, he had the TV show. He definitely had more exposure than Eric Clapton, right? Yeah. I mean, with the we television show, Ozzy. the MTV we know show. We about, more about Ozzy's personal life than we do Eric Loud Clapton. Loudmouth wife. Or, is it ex-wife now? No, I think they're still together. I'm not sure. I know that they were separated for a while. Jack Osbourne, you know what he's doing now? Nope. Ghost Hunter show. Oh, cool. Um, I mean, I, I see this is going either way. That's why only 12 but votes When I'm separate. thinking about the greatest rock act of all time, am I going to go Clapton? Act. Who would you rather see in concert? Clapton. Okay. Well, that's you. I'm sure this is a... this would, He can't even perform anymore, can he? He almost died in the hospital a couple months ago. I'm saying... No offense to Ozzy Nation. At their peak. But, at their peak. Like, okay... The, biting heads I'm off not, bats I'm not saying, and being in... You're, you know, not the, you're not the prototypical voter here because no. you would rather see Huey Lewis in the news than either of these acts. <laughs> but what I'm saying is... For the 17th time. What I'm saying is... There yeah. are a fair amount of people within the KZOZ contingency that have probably seen both of them. Okay. They've let's... probably seen Ozzy. They've probably seen Eric. And when you break it down, which concert did you have more fun at? I don't know. I've never seen either of them. But I would say there's a lot more going on at an Ozzy Osbourne concert than, a, than an Eric Clapton concert yeah, as far as biting the heads off performer. Right All right. So let's goes. get to the next matchup. We spent a lot of time on this one. Well, That's I Clapton and Ozzy. I, mean, I mentioned that kiss Leonard Skinner matchup, which is also t- a 22-vote separation. That's not much. That could be overcome in the next 20 minutes. I got to think that that is Kiss with the lead. and uh, we, I don't know because I can't see what Jeff can see. I don't have access to that page. Are you ready for the closest but, matchup? But uh, the Skinner coming to the fair. I see Leonard Skinner gaining on Kiss. We'll see what happens. What is next? Grateful Dead in Boston. Oh, God. We already know about that one. Lame. Both but of them should, I should tell not you have right been now, let in. I want to tell you right now. One vote. No, they should have been. One vote separates both these bands as of right this moment. I mean, uh, Boston and the Dead? Boston and the Dead. One vote. Yeah. So if you think Boston is is a better band than Grateful Dead, or you think Grateful Dead is a better band than Boston, you need to get over there, fill out your bracket. It could get you 10 tickets to shows at Vina Robles Amphitheater this summer. Subscribe to the Jeff and Jeremy podcast now on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google, and YouTube. It's your Central Coast commute-friendly podcast.